Hey everybody, it's Troy. Hey listen, Marjorie Taylor Greene is a legendary asshole. I don't know, do you think we say that enough here on the Midas Touch Network? Call these MAGA fascists out for the pieces of shit that they are. But listen, Marjorie Taylor Greene was on a local access TV show in her home state of Georgia. It's a call-in show. She's taking calls from Georgia voters who want to talk to her about the issues. She's on a call with a woman who's clearly pro-choice and wants to ask her about her extreme stance on abortion post Roe versus Wade. The woman's incredibly kind, just wants to have a civil professional conversation with Marjorie Taylor Greene. Marjorie Taylor Greene repeatedly calls this woman out for her age, uh, repeatedly asking her uh, if she's too old to have children, saying she thinks she's too old to have children, so why does she have an opinion about abortion? The woman never mentions her age. Marjorie Taylor Greene never asks her what her age is. She's just assuming by the sound of her voice that she's too old to have children and repeatedly asks her that during the course of this conversation. Check this out. If, uh, women's rights. Okay, you're blaming this all on the women. My body is my body, and I want to, I don't want the government telling me what I can do with my body. Ma'am, are you having children anytime soon? I'm, um, that's my question. I'm asking a legitimate question. And you're right, it's your body, but a baby inside a woman's womb is another person's body. Not your body and not my body. And that uh, abortion is murder of another human being whether that body is inside your uterus or, or not. But that is murder. I, I do not support the murder of another human being. I support life, and I will always stand up to fight for the lives of the unborn and, and life overall. Um, okay. But I don't, I don't think you're having children anytime soon. So I appreciate your interest in women's rights, but killing an unborn baby is not a woman's right, and that's not health care. Okay. If a child, if a, a, the 10-year-old child that was, that was the rape... What about then I think we should put the rapist, the a child the abuser. Be punished. The child can't have anything done to her without uh, the government going after him, finding him, and all that stuff. That's not right. A child abuser and a rapist should be put to death if they are doing that to a 10-year-old child. Number one, I think that should be our focus. That is a very rare, rare, rare occasion, so that should not be the, the entire premise of the argument on abortion. Again, ma'am, I know you say it's your body, your choice, but I don't think you're having any children anytime soon. I think we need to focus on the future of America, and that's our children, because they are our, they are our future. And the unborn, they're the, our future also. So let's focus focus on protecting their lives and and instead of being focused on a lie that abortion is women's health care because that's not health care. Health care saves lives. Abortion kills a life. Thank you so much for your question tonight. No, I'm not through. What the hell is she talking about? Like, could she be a more disgusting garbage human being? She, could, she couldn't help herself. She had to get the fucking digs in on this woman who's just trying to have a conversation with her. She's a voter. She's presumably a person who could be voting for Marjorie Taylor Greene. Marjorie Taylor Greene can't even have a civil conversation with a voter on an extremely important campaign issue. She's a member of Congress in a country where 70% of the population thinks that abortion should be legal, at least in some cases. Marjorie Taylor Greene's views on abortion are more extreme than that. She wants a total abortion ban in this country. States' rights be damned. Total abortion ban with no exceptions in this country. It's an extreme position that 70% of Americans do not agree with. Marjorie Taylor Greene cannot even have a civil conversation with a voter on that issue without having to slip some fucking ageist bullshit insults into the conversation with a little smirk on her face. She's just a terrible, terrible person. And it's not an accident. She knows that this type of thing plays to the garbage right. If you look at the garbage right on Twitter and OAN and Newsmax and Fox News, this is the type of stuff that gets them excited. This is the type of things that make them froth at the mouth they love uh, treating people like shit. They love getting in their little insults and digs at people that, they, that they're opposed to politically. This is the type of stuff that they like. So I'm not surprised that she behaves like this. But what a just an asshole uh, move 
for her to have these ageist comments about this woman. And by the way, it doesn't make any goddamn sense. What, so it, it, supposing this woman is too old to have children, she's not allowed to have an opinion on abortion? Look, most of the people making abortion laws in our country are men who are also not capable of having children. So are those men who are limiting uh, female bodily autonomy and taking away our reproductive rights, are those men? They shouldn't be able to have an opinion on abortion either, right, Marge? Is this the conservative mindset? Oh, it doesn't affect you directly. You're not directly affected by this problem or by this policy. So why the hell do you have an opinion on it? If it doesn't directly impact you we don't care about these things. That's that's how these people think. That's, that's the conservative mindset to a T. Like, I'm not in high school, so why the fuck should I care about school shootings? Doesn't affect me. You know, I'm a man uh, with a, a wife and a daughter. Uh, I, why? But why should I care about reproductive freedom? Why should I care about female bodily autonomy and women's rights and treating women like second-class citizens? She could have just handled it like an adult and had an adult conversation about an issue that one of her voters was concerned with. But no, you, you could never expect Marjorie Taylor Greene or any of these MAGA fascists to do the adult thing. They're children. They're garbage, spoiled, entitled little children, which also explains this. Okay, we're back with that Marjorie Taylor Greene. You all ran her off. She's yeah. gone. Yeah, why'd you do that? She's gone. So um, uh, we'll take your calls or comments or whatever you got to say, but uh, she left. She said she enjoyed my show and she's through and got up and left. So she's out of here. Nothing I can do about that, okay? Call her, go ahead. She straight up books it and leaves the interview or leaves the show during a commercial break. She just gets up. There's no audio or video of her leaving because it was during a commercial break. But she just, you know, after these, after this uh, phone call, after these phone calls with these voters, she just gets up and leaves uh, before her, her scheduled time is over. Just totally leaving these two adorable TV hosts, these like local access TV hosts who are just trying to have a, a good show. Presumably getting Marjorie Taylor Greene on their show was, you know, a, a huge get for them. It was, a, it was a great moment for their show. She just books it, just takes off in the middle, middle of a commercial break. She actually had to face some people on the show that probably, you know, disagreed with her on some level. They weren't even being rude. They were having civil conversations with her. But civil conversations with people that she disagrees with about politics are not something that Marjorie Taylor Greene or any of these MAGA fascists are capable of. This woman should not be allowed anywhere near D.C. Marjorie Taylor Greene should not be allowed on a, on a tour of the Capitol building, on a tour of Congress, let alone serving in Congress. She's an absolute disgrace. Race. It's embarrassing that we have her and people like her serving in our government, and she needs to be voted out now. People of Georgia, do your thing. For Midas Touch, this is Troy. Remember, if you haven't already done so, please smash that subscribe button to keep supporting Midas Touch, to keep supporting independent media. This November is Rovember. Midas Touch just released its brand new collection of Rovember t shirts and pins to let the country know what's at stake this upcoming midterm election. Go to store.midastouch.com to grab yours. That's store.midastouch.com.